I'm going to explain the difference between short grain and long grain. The grain on this piece of wood runs in this direction. You may be able to see some of the grain lines. Okay, so it runs like this, pretty much straight up and down this board. Now let's say I wanted to make a table and I wanted to make a set of legs. Here's one leg and here's the other side. This right here is long grain. Okay, if I picture, if I show it stopping there, this is all long grain. But now when it reaches here, in between here, it's really short. This is called short grain, right in this area in here, and it's very weak. So short grain is weak, long grain is strong. This is from an actual table that I had a couple of. It's called a Duncan Fife table. And every single table, the legs broke right in here. Okay, because it's short grain. There's not much holding the wood together and it's weak and that's where it broke. Every table, same thing. Now if the manufacturers had tipped the grain of the wood in this direction, so the grain is running like this, now we've got long grain through the whole leg and it's not going to break. Why they didn't think of this, I don't know. So if you tip the angle of the wood, the grain runs this way, now you've got a strong table leg. Now let's take a look at it. Say we're carving a face or a figure of some type. And it's roughed out like this. And we need to get down to these lines here. If we're not aware of short grain and long grain, we're liable to crack off the tip of the nose right here. Because this is short grain right there. And if we try to take off a big chunk and we carve towards the short grain, what's going to happen? Yeah, it's going to chip right off because it's weak. So instead, what you should do is carve from the short grain towards the long grain. Carve from this, the weak area, towards the stronger area. That makes a width the grain cut and you're avoiding putting pressure on the short grain area. So if we flip it over, like if this is that nose portion right here, we want to carve this way to get down to the lines. Not this way because now we're pushing on the short grain, on the weak area, and it's going to crack off. So carve from the short grain towards the stronger long grain. That'll help protect and avoid cracking off sections like that. Okay, let's say the hair came like this. And we want to get closer to the hairline, carve it back. We don't want to carve this way because here is short grain and it will surely chip off just like it did on the nose. So instead, carve in this direction. So by knowing where the short grain is, you can avoid cracking off areas that you don't want to have crack off. I mostly teach chip carving. In chip carving it's the same thing. This is long grain. It's strong. These areas across here 
are short grain and when chip carvers cut too deep with their cuts the area that's going to chip off is the short grain right in there same as if you're carving a figure the short grain is weak long grain is strong so even if someone were to undercut this area right in there too deep it's not going to come out because it's strong all the way through here with those wood fibers okay i hope that helps you understand short grain and long grain so that you can be a more successful wood carver anything i do to help you you can find me on my website mychipcarving.com